Hi guys, welcome to another video by myself, Bates 87 We are at home, we are not in Berlin now, we are back, and the demo has gone live today. Now in this video, guys, a lot of people may be put off by downloading the demo, may not want to play it because one, it's not online, two, it's not got Ultimate Team, and you may not want to try the gameplay. But in this video, guys, I am going to show you what to do and how to take advantage of this game. And get you, it's not really taking advantage of the demo, because you're not really taking advantage, you're trying, you're homing in your skills, and you're trying everything out that you potentially can to make you the best player you can be, when the full release does come out. Now, if you guys do want MSP PSN codes, go and check out G2A.com, their links down below. If you're trying to hit over a thousand likes, guys, that'd be brilliant. And loads of FIFA 19 Ultimate Team videos and channel if you guys have not seen. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to give you some hints and tips, some ideas of what you can do, and an exclusive for you PlayStation guys out there if you have an internet connection and do want to play some online matches. So demo, and this is important, guys, the demo and not representative of the quality of the final product. This game is a little bit behind as to what I played at the capture event itself. Um, so bear that in mind, guys, when you do move forward. We have a nice start up here. We move on into the menu, and uh, you can see press A for the demo, boosh, we load on in, accept and continue, and then what is the next screen which pops up on this. So, you guys on PlayStation, you may or may not know, you can actually play each other online. The way you do so, guys, is by inviting your friend to a party. You would then have the, um, I forgot what it's called, I did have it, it was like, um, what was it called? It was share play, I think it was. You got share play. So, yeah, so you're in the party, guys, and then you've got um, share play. You would then test your connection. Whoever's got the best connection, I'd recommend them sharing it with you. From that point, it then hands a controller over to your uh, your person who you're in the party with. From that point, you can then play a, a, like a single match against them using the demo. It's not Ultimate Team, but it is a way of doing it, guys. So that's an idea for you guys on PlayStation who do want to play a friend. And if you guys want to see it in action, I'll be streaming over on Facebook, fb.gg forward slash PlayStation 87 as of tomorrow. And uh, we'll be playing some of you guys if you do want to play me at FIFA 19 um, as well. So, we've got the advertisements as the new gameplay features, actually touch system, 50-50 battles and stuff like that. But one of the reasons why I would attempt you guys to come on and play the demo is because of the changes to it. Um, you're going to advance. I wouldn't, uh, like if you guys do like the journey and it is one of the things you do when I have a player with, I'd recommend doing it. Um, you got play FIFA 19 first via access. You guys know that comes out on the 20th. It gives you 10 hours of play um, like five days before the release of the Ultimate Edition, which I think is the 25th. And then everything else like that. So EA access is advertised there as you expect. Journey, I wouldn't probably go near guys because you've seen it on my YouTube channel already. You do the El Rondo. Um, you're in the Real Madrid dressing room, you see some cutscenes and you play like 20 to 30 minutes left of the Manchester United game uh, versus Real Madrid. I think that was how it's set up. If we move on into the kickoff, this is where you would do the do the stuff, guys. So you would have your friend in the party on PlayStation. You would invite him to share play. You would then invite, pass the controller to him, and then he would be able to move left or right. But one of the things that we have got is the fact that we don't have any friends in real life. And it's, it's <laughs> I know surprising, guys, um, which is interesting. Now. What, one of the tips which I want to try and help you is for squad battles when that does come around. Now, on the game that I play, guys, tactical defending is the only defending you can do. Legacy defending is not in squad battles. It's locked out, so I'd recommend sticking to tactical. Um, I would change everything to assisted. Keep it on assisted for the time being. The more you become, um, like comfortable with stuff then i would maybe start doing it time finishing you can choose to show that if you want i'm going to turn the fifa trainer off and uh, i'm also going to change it to alternate as that's the controls i do play so in this screen you now do have all these are locked out and it's interesting because this is like a push for offline gaming and they've not let the classic match home and away best of series and house rules uh, available the only thing available to you guys is the Champions League group stage match the teams which are available are Atletico Madrid Dortmund, Bayern Munich, Juventus Man City, Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain Real Madrid, Roma, Spurs so what we're going to do guys is take a look through the kits and we'll move one by one so the kits available to you, you can see on this one we've got the blue which is nice, I don't think they've got the third kit there they haven't um and i'm the, what the kit i was curious about was actually paris's one um as they've not got they've actually not got the uh, new jordan kit as you have uh, torn up so the game we're going to play today guys we're going to play maybe uh, no i think my team's going to be paris Saint Germain. i'm probably going to play a lower team so we'll play Roma. We'll go with the two kits there. Uh, go to team management. This will also give you a rundown, guys, of the new team management system if you guys have never had your hands on it. Uh, you've also got the custom tactics and instructions if you guys want to have a mess around with that. So I'll try and find your best style of play. Um, drop back, I'm probably going to rock with that one. 
Uh, width we knocked on up. Offensive bizarre possession. That's the way I do play. Uh, players in the box will knock down. Corners will knock that say, kick the same. Width will go wide. Free kicks will knock that down, I think. Just so we've got a bit of a uh, bit of defensive there, and that gives you a rundown of the of the uh, of the tactic. So worth having a look at. You know about the instructions already; they're the same, and the rules are the same as well. So I'm probably not going to make any changes to this team. Just I'm doing it as a bit of a tutorial for you guys. Keep everyone on the bench there. And that's that's the job done. So what we're going to do, guys, is rock on into the game. All the settings are right and everything else like that. And remember that this gameplay, guys, is behind what we played at the uh, capture event. This one is actually like around the Gamescom time, if not probably a little bit before. So from this, guys, you've got the tutorial on. You, you learn how to move. It sounds easier, guys, but you can see the type of shot. And I'm actually going to go and get this ball. And you've got to go through the green marker. And then you can actually, if you just wanted to stay in here, guys, you could try the uh, the load driven shot, which is one of the reasons why I want you to like load up the, the demo, have a play around, and you can have a look at the um, the new time shooting and other stuff like that. So it is definitely worth it. I would recommend doing so. I'm going to even get that. So that's through. You can see, hold to shoot. Oh, I've got to shoot outside the area. Damn, that's what that's what I was doing wrong. Right, get the ball. Cutting, and you can see like it's very difficult. The new time shooting is, is is like very very hard. Something I'm not used to myself. I was gonna spend the majority of the time getting it. Like I think that was a great that was green, but I was just maybe the type of shot was dumb. Um, we're gonna have a play around with the finesses. Oh, have I got I've got that timing in it. Right, let's try it now. Nice, nah. We're learning, guys, but it's not working. So we're going to get into the game. I'm going to show you some of the gameplay techniques which you should definitely uh, learn. I was trying to do this while I was in the uh, capture event, but unfortunately did fail at it. And you can see, and also for you guys who do ask, how do I play? I do change my uh, game settings. I do change the camera um, to telebroadcast. I think it's a little bit better, and I rock with that. So... Instantly, guys, we're going to pass the ball back. We're going to pass it across here. We're going to flick the stick, and that puts the ball up in the air. Adds a little bit up there. there. Flick, nice. Ball out. You can flick it anywhere in the field. You can flick back. You can flick side, and you can flick over as we give the ball away. And probably going to concede very early there. But... You guys at the start of FIFA 19 Ultimate Team, Squad Battles is definitely the place to go um, to have a play around and get some coins early, get some packs early, get some rewards early, and also get used to the basic in-game mechanics of the game itself. Now you can see that we are obviously not on Ultimate Team, that is a given, we are on the demo as you guys know. You've got loads of new stuff as well, um, including the flick system which you guys should definitely take a hold of. You can try and see if you can find maybe new techniques for crosses, the same for corners as well, um, or just basically try and get like finesse shot. Itani said they've changed. They've not. They've not changed. The finesse shots are exactly the same. This is the first time I played Xbox as well. FIFA 19. Every console. Well, every time I played FIFA 19, whether it be the uh, pre-releases, any other game like version of it, it's been the PlayStation. It's the first time on Xbox I've been playing around with my fantastic uh, Minecraft controller, and I'm probably going to play it till the first half, guys. Um, as this was more of a video to try and help you guys maybe get that a little bit better and try stuff out. So, this year, we've got the second cursor, which you're seeing of the player. It can help you, because that, that second cursor, when you play a switch in, you can see the second man is selected uh, when defending. And I'll try and get the ball away. But you can see you're passing the ball. Get used to the flick system. Try it out. Maybe maybe even try it out in the attacking position as well. Because you put the ball forward. We're going to put it ball there. He turns it, collects it nicely. He picks it up, flicks it, sets it up there, headers it back. Can we receive it? I don't even know what, what difficult is this on. But, ball over, ball in the middle, flick over, ball to the outside. And when you're crossing it in, guys, you've now got a modifier um, for a bicycle or a... Not, not a bicycle, sorry. Of, of, um, so, a flick. Oh, it's not done it there. And that was a terrible mistimed shot. So, shooting techniques have, have changed, guys. I know a lot of people are going to be accidentally spamming the... Um, the double tap for the low driven shot, a very effective shot technique it has been for previous FIFAs. That can be a, an absolute pain in, in the in the in the bum really because now with double tapping it's like set it up for time shots. So if you like panicking shooting or you're trying to like ram a header in and I'm guilty of it guys, you like start tapping that button. So nice flick there. Ball in. Is he off? Ah. Um so you're flicking the ball around 
you're trying to get used to it, line up for shots and stuff. But when you're panicking, trying to head that bone in, you're absolutely hammering the, the bone, it's going to change it into a time shot. And that more likely, if you don't hit it perfectly, which you probably won't, the ball will fly over. And I think we did it actually at the um, a Facebook stream of myself and Tobias. So we definitely learned the hard way from that. Um, you've got loads of shot changes, which is the two front bumpers and shooting. I'll try, I'll try, I will try and get that off now to show you what the crack is with that. Um, Cause it, but it is the the shooting was a little bit bugged at the event, and I don't know how far this this does feel behind compared to what I play. It does feel a little, it does feel a lot slower actually. It does feel a lot slower. But then again, could that be the ultimate team change? Dribbling's nice, drag backs, ball rolls. You can see the ball through there. We're going to get it over to Mbappe. Actually, maybe not. Right, low driven, double ball bumpers, bang. That's a low driven shot, guys. You don't have to double tap it. Both bumpers activated, smack it in, and just press the shoot button. That was a low driven shot right there. And we've also like shown the finesse shot. I do want to show the modifier of the volley as well, but that might be difficult. I'll see if I can do that now. Um, and, and this is why I'm telling you to get, get it, guys. It, it may not be available on Xbox um, where, where you are. It was like a little bit of a struggle for me to get it. But now I've got it. I can now start practicing, and I will be practicing as well. Like I'm going to be playing people on PlayStation. So we've got the ball. Can we flick it? So what am I doing now? I'm doing uh So I'm doing a volley. Bang. Get practicing them guys. When the ball's in the air and you line up for a header, you don't want to do a header, guys jam in the LT or LT or L2 button and that will change it to a volley modifier. Depending on the height of the ball, it will be a bicycle kick and stuff like that. Um you've also got defending. It's very difficult to start like sorting out the defending. This this quote quote this difficulty of the opponent doesn't feel the hardest either. Um I don't know what that is really. So, what else have I got? Which I can show you. You've got new skill moves we can try out. Uh, you can try and figure out how to break on in. We're going to try a, a flick shot here. Flick, bang on the volley. Terrible shooter, and that was to be expected to fly it over. Um, but download demo. It's free. Try it out. For you guys who did play the beta and were very disappointed in the beta, this may make you feel a little bit better. And if you guys are on PlayStation, it's definitely worth having a look at PlayStation um, and uh, playing share play against some decent players. Gives you a bit of an advantage moving on to when Ultimate Team is released and then you fly straight online and then obviously you've got an advantage on everyone else. That's what I'm going to be doing. On my streams now until the full release, guys. On Facebook, I will be playing on PlayStation. I will be playing just head to head, having to play around, seeing what, see, seeing how everything plays, getting used to new techniques, and maybe even some wager matches. So, if you guys want to get involved in that, feel free to leave a like rating as well. And if you guys don't fully understand what I'm saying about share play, I'll be explaining that in the uh, stream tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning around nine o'clock in the morning, guys. So check in if you're not. Brief rundown. That's all you can do, guys. It's a reasonably full game. I don't know if we can change the quality of the opponent. Is it in a game settings? I presume it'll be as well. Um, is it in game settings? Visual audio. It might have been beforehand, but that's basically it. All the skill moves can be found in here as well, so you guys want to know some new skill moves. And I will show you one more, actually, before I do end the video, and that is getting used to a new uh, the new fake shots. I don't think I showed it, actually. So I'll try and get the ball with, with a player. It doesn't have to be a skillful player. Um, and I'll just show you that, and then I will end the video. So we've got the ball there. Doing a fake shot with Neymar. It's obviously doing the scoot turn because he's got five side skills. Fake shot, turn back. I'll try and pass it to someone else. And then with the L1, guys, you do a fake shot, like normal fake shots. You're seeing like a different animation. But if you hold the L1, it like, does a, a fainted one, which gives you a nice nice speed boost out of it. It like, delays the ball behind and then picks it up afterwards. And you're seeing the way that he runs out of the... Um, Runs out of the tackle. If you can time it perfectly against an AI user or even a computer, you could definitely open yourself up some nice positions in the area. And yet again, here we are. We'll do it now. Oh, I ran too close. It's all about getting used to it, guys. And this will, because FIFA 19, in my opinion, is going to have a bit of a learning curve with the shooting and the dribbling. Um, it's definitely worth... Bang. Oh, what a save that was. It's definitely worth taking advantage of it and spending a couple of days on this demo, even if it is against computer, but PlayStation guys, definitely play against your friends and see if you can um, get, that he get that head start going into FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. There we are, done guys. Hopefully this video has helped you a little bit. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.